Tap, tap, tap. I will tell you a story of long ago, of something that we found when shooting stars raced round the earth and the frost gleamed on the ground. When we were young and the world was full of whispers in the night and the eyes of cats shone in the dark like greeny orbs of light. The candles had been snuffed out some hours and we in our beds tucked tight and all asleep, or nearly so, deep in the dead of night. Then, tap, tap, tap. A muffled knock disturbed our sleepy dark. A startled child sat up in bed and the dog began to bark. Mammy, I cannot sleep, I said. Hush, hush, my girl, lie still. The sound you heard is in your head. There's none would wish you ill. But, Mammy, I heard it again tonight. A tap, tap on the wall. Come lie by me, my sleepy girl. There is no sound at all. But, Mammy, I cannot sleep, I said. And, and the thing won't go away. And it's got me all so frightened that the words won't come to pray. There's something taken in the wall, and it's wanting to go free. Oh, ch 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 such fancies, Childine. You are quite safe with me. Then, Grandma Gorry, bleak and blanketed, bonneted for the cold, rose darkly from her corner seat and declared in a voice most bold, I have lived for eighty years or more. And though my eyes are dim, my ears are good. And I'll tell you all, I've had enough of him. This tap, 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 and tap, 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 it would drive you to distraction. It's no use wishing it away. The thing we need is action. I'm 83 and gone in the knee, but gone in the head I'm not. And if you once can live with him, I tell you, I cannot. Then Grandma Gorry, bold, unbending, stern and bony, old, left her darkening corner to go out in the night time cold. Mother, mother, they called. But Grandma's eyes just shone. I will not stop for man or beast until that thing has gone. When she returned, she went to the wall and frowned at a certain place where the wallpaper hung, wrinkled and old like the skin upon her face. One bony hand clasped tight the hammer. The other was outspread against a damp and dingy wall, but not a word was said. And then it was not tap, but thump and thud and scrape while the cats first stood up all on end and our mouths were wide agape. Soon dust and dirt and broken stone lay thick upon the floor for in the wall there was a hole five inches deep or more. A deep dark hole in the cottage wall and Grandma turned around. It was just a noisy little thing and I was wanting to be found. In her tremulous fist she clasped it fast, true as the heavens above, the thing that had held us all in fear, a child's green glove. One of a pair, my grandma said, and now it must find its mate. She took it out that very hour and laid it by the gate. Out in the silvery, shivery night, beneath the stars in space, and by the dewy morning, it had gone without a trace. <laughs>